Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm in Austria at the Glock headquarters with Shane from Team Glock. He's a brand ambassador, he travels the world and represents Glocks. The reason why I'm here is because I used the Glock 17 at the Austrian military. Um, I love the gun, very reliable, very consistent and I wanted to visit their headquarters. Now I'm finally here. So Shane, can you tell us about what's Team Glock and what's Glock for you? Uh, well, Team Glock is, we're the professional shooting team for Glock. We travel around the world, we compete in USPSA, IPSE, which is the United States Practical Shooting Association and then the Inter International Practical Shooting Confederation. We do demonstrations, we teach the law enforcement academies, different law enforcement agencies, we do demonstrations. So we try to promote the brand as much as we can all across the world and give back to the community that's been such a blessing to us. Can you show us some drills, like how to draw the pistol, safety requirements, all that kind of stuff? Oh, absolutely. We have a ton of drills that we do with uh, all the different agencies, so we'd, we'd love to get on the range and do some shooting. Okay, all right, let's do it. Shoot her ready. Stand by. All right, guys, that was Ashley with the competition run. Now she's gonna show me how to do it. So, Ashley, can you introduce yourself really quick? What are you doing at Team Glock? Yeah, my name is Ashley Ruark, and I'm one of the professional shooters on Team Glock. And my job is to basically travel all around the world and shoot in uh, different types of competitive shooting competitions and represent the brand Glock. Because I just learned the military aspect, you know, how to use a Glock in combat, but I never did any of the competition stuff. So maybe you can introduce me to it, you know, how to draw the pistol, how to reload and right. all that kind of stuff. You want to move your support hands in the middle. Okay, so quick summary of what I can remember from what I just learned from Ashley. First of all, that the drawing, you do it simultaneously with both hands. So you move your support hand right to the middle of the torso. You draw and you make it at one smooth movement. You bring it up and you don't bring the gun up like this. You basically just sting it. You know, you connect right here in front of your torso and then you sting it towards the target. The target. And you try to already get the sights aligned, of course. Then regarding the reload, um, again, you bring the gun back into your workspace. You tilt it up a little bit. You keep it at your eye level so you know what's going on. You have the target you know, in your vision, just like the military actually. It's very similar. Um, you drop the mag. I don't have a mag in right now, but you usually just drop the mag. And while you drop the mag, you already pull the magazine with the index finger running along the magazine. So you find that mag well, you push it in. And while you push it in, actually, you try to get the gun back on target. Did I say anything about yeah. Shooter ready. Stand by. Do I finish unloading so clear? Gonna clear slot four. Drop slot. We're now holster. I did hit the board actually. That kind of confused me, but let's try again. Let's see if I can bring the time down. All right, range is going hot, eyes and ears. Load and make ready. We're yeah. finished, unload show clear. Gun clear, drop the slide, slide down, hammer down, holster. You're finished, unload show clear, drop the slide, hammer down and holster, time 9.41. Okay, 9.41, um, two seconds faster than on the first run, so that was the third run. I'm getting there. I um, haven't shot a real gun for two months, I think, um, especially in a closed environment, so feeling the pressure of the actual, actual cartridge release, it's very different to an airsoft. And of course, you know, safety, you have to take care of. Definitely fun to do it because you fight against time, you know, you can um, do it on your own basically. You compete, you try to get faster and faster. Still prefer airsoft because it's more, you know, it's, just, it's more diverse, I think. Just different combat situations, but 
fun to do. Should do it a few more times, of course. Okay, the pistol worked great. Um, Glock 17, no champs. It's a little bit hot. Uh, yeah, so thanks for Glock for having me in, for showing me this. And if you guys want to see more real steel stuff, let me know in the comments below. Wait, 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 before we ending this video, of course, we still have the Glock 18C, which we're not going to forget about this one. We also have the 33 round magazine, so Michelle from Team Glock is going to show us how to control the power and the recoil of this gun. So, pistol, is the magazine. Thank you. What do we have to take care of? All right, so I'm going to lean forward really hard into the gun, not so much like I do in competition, but because it's a full auto and it has yeah. a lot of recoil, I'm really going to get into the gun. I'm going to make sure I have a really good grip on the gun and 